another way to do it. I found out that on the on the uh, on the box that there was a TFTP client. So uh, TFTP client means that you can download stuff on the box. So I set up uh, at home on my laptop behind my DSL connection. I set up a, a public uh, TFTP server that was serving uh, my static PC box. Then I went, I logged in onto the, the router of my neighbor. So I had the box <laughs> at the time. Uh, and just type one, one comment to, to download the PC box and then uh, it arrived and then I tested it with some links with the uh, uh, yeah and then it was fine. So um, from this point you can easily once you get a, a shell uh, download some other uh, components uh, wget and then once you have wget you can can download everything. Um, one thing I tried, I basically I contacted one one guy who had a CV on uh, LinkedIn who claimed to have worked on the Sajem uh, bootloader and, and stuff like this. So I exchanged some emails and then at some point he called me. Uh, and he said, yeah, but you know that the, 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 the flash has some fuses that you cannot uh, uh, protect the, the flash from being uh, erased. And, uh, Okay, I have to try JTAG then um, to see if it's if it's really true. And um, last week I said, yeah, well, I've not tried yet to to see if I can write directly to the flash. And then I did uh, uh, a backup via yeah, Netcat uh, to 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 my PC of the flash from the neighbor, and then I was uh, rebooting the 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 file directly with. Uh, uh, with DD writing writing a backup of this flash directly on, on the whole flash to see if the flash was had fused or not, and it didn't have so uh, the flash is fully right though. Um, the the hard thing is that uh, if you want to provide custom software for people who want to use the box for uh, whatever purposes, uh, it's uh, very easy not to touch the the kernel or the bootloader, but just provide uh, binary applications that they can put on their box on the USB key or somewhere else, and it just works. Um, one of the problem with, uh, for example, hiding IPv6 is that you don't have IPv6 support there. Or if you want to, uh, for example, uh, change the Wi-Fi driver because it doesn't support other modes, which I want to use, um, then you have to compile some kernel modules. Uh, the problem is, I hope to have the source soon. Um, the kernel has to support modules, and uh, so I basically tried with the busy box I had if I can uh, list the modules, remove the modules, and, and it works. So um, once I get the kernel source, I have to go further. With it. Uh, one thing I tried is that uh, there were two two by ten uh, bits on the board, and um, I didn't try uh, JTAG for for a while because I didn't have the, the need on other boards I used. Um, so I found out digging on the internet that the the, the pins that was the was the Philips uh, Philips standard uh, JTAG pinout. So uh, a friend of mine uh, uh, did a cable and I did a bit of soldering uh, like uh, three weeks ago. And uh, yeah, it basically detects the main, uh, the main CPU. One of the problems with JTAG is that uh, you have uh, standard code uh, IEEE 1149 and you have extensions to that. And uh, for example, Mipsport, they use extended JTAG where each manufacturer can extend the, the, the JTAG with its own code. Uh, but mostly for all Mipsports, you can have the basic functions like uh, detecting flash, uh, accessing to RAM, stopping the CPU, and things like that. Um, and the, the other problem is that this system and chip is not very widespread in the terms of it has not been very well explored uh, uh, before. So it was not supported by URG Tech. Uh, when you do the discovery, you find on um, several places like 
uh, those the, the, the 32 uh, bit part is the, probably the, the identifier um, where you have the at the end of the bit stream the 32 bits you have four bits which, is, which are reserved to tell you which JTAG, uh, which extended JTAG version it is. So right now I have not yet managed to make the mapping with the the real. I have a, another box of hole which is running 24 hours long uh, to find out. Uh, all the the addresses. Uh, when you have to make a detect flash, you have to try uh, different uh, addresses. And uh, now I'm trying all the addresses. Uh, so I found out recently that the the, the flash was supported by another GTAG tool, which is called TGTAG, which is mostly used by parallel port adapters uh, people. Uh, it's a derivative of Eriderie for people who know. Uh, this tool for WRC 54G. And uh, I also found another interesting project. Um, um, one other thing that I also discovered is that the, the Visibox I compiled has Pivo root uh, support, which is uh, used by uh, ASUS uh, WLHDD when they don't have enough uh, space on the on the flash. They have a USB device, they use Pivo root to, to change of uh, root file system. Uh, so one of the ideas to to clone the the root file system, which is uh, mostly read only, to a readable SD, uh, USB card and then a USB key, and then do the pivot root to uh, uh, write more things, change configuration files, and so on. Um, there's the distribution, the the slug, which is uh, for Linksys uh, small Linksys device, uh, which has an software. Uh, kind of collection, which is a flash up, uh, and then their own root file system with uh, some uh, packages. So I was trying to find out how 